Hello and welcome to Teacher Needs a Drink Podcast. I am Elvis, your host, and I'm here to let you know that this is a not safe for work podcast. We here at Teacher Needs a Drink Podcast are teachers at the end of the week and really the end of our ropes, and we'd like to be able to talk honestly and openly about our jobs without having to worry about, you know, losing them. So we will be using pseudonyms throughout the entire podcast, you know, hence the Elvis. And also, I'd like to give a big shout out to all of our Patreons who are out there. We get more and more each day, and there is all kinds of of bonus content. We're putting out a lot of stuff now since it's summer and we have time. All kinds of extra more Teacher Needs a Drink podcast stuff that you can hear for as little as 5 to $10 a month. You get all kinds of extra stuff plus all the back stuff that's on there. It is amazing. And you also get access to our teacher Facebook group where you can chat with us. You can send messages to the Patreon. In fact, we're going to a bar after I finish recording this or editing this tonight and we're going to record just for as long as we want talking shit at the bar. So it's going to be lots of fun. Anyway, big special thing Thanks to all of our people. Let's start with Science Teach 17, Michael M, Kim C, William P, Sarah O, Aldrich T, La Scorpionita, Britt M, Tisha C, Teresa H, Biker Teach, Caitlin L, Marsha M, Wiaza, Christina B, Miss Alabama, Kristen B, Megan R, Huvian, Ashley M, Jason F, Amber H, I lost my place, JJO, Jeff S, Abby B, Ann T, Sarah B, Regina F, Anna L, Josie S, Sam B, Lucy P, Mary E, Jamie B, Hope H, Aaron D, Kristen W, Vanessa J, Mary C, Rylan L, Catherine S, Kelsey W, RJR, Kristen C, Johanna H, Tony, Christina K, Irma A, Nimi, Melissa M, Lisa S, and Sarah N. Thank you guys so much for supporting us. It means so much. If any of you guys out there are theater teachers or have to do some kind of theater teaching at some point, you guys need to go check out Lud Lamb Dramatics. They are the only suppliers of really good theater resources that are out there. There, as far as for classroom teachers, they, I mean, if you go to the teacher store, there is jack shit for theater teachers. So if you have to do theater or you know a theater teacher, tell them to go to Ludlam Dramatics. They sponsor us. So they're supporting us. Support them, support us. Also check out Legendary Pretzels. They are the best things in the world. Just check out their website, Legendary Pretzels. Use the code teachers at checkout and you get a discount. My friends, if there is anything out there you would like to share with us here at Teacher Needs Drink Podcast, hit us up through our contact page of our website, teacherneedsadrinkpodcast.com. Just send a message. We'll respond. Patreon, Love Them Dramatics, Legend. I think I covered everything. All right, my friends, I hope you're enjoying your summer. Relax, deep breaths, do what you can, and I'll talk to you soon. Cheers. Welcome to Teacher Needs a Drink Podcast. I am Elvis, your host, and with me today, I am joined by Mr. Count Chocolate. Chocolate. Y'all got to forgive me in advance. There is chocolate whiskey in a large (laughs) glass, and I'm going to consume all of it. That sounds nice. It is so smooth. So smooth. (laughs) Just like me. Hey-o. <laughs> All right. Also joining us today, we have Miss Bunny O'Hare. Hey, Elvis. Hey, folks. Yeah, it's good to have you here. And last but not least, we have Miss Shirley Temper. A connection? Okay. What do I do for a living? Sorry. Maybe that one's too hard. How old am I? How long have I lived in the city? What are my hobbies? What's my name? I know this one. I've heard this one. I can't place it, though. I know it, too. I swear I should. (laughs) It's Promising Young Woman. Oh, I did not watch that. I heard it was really good. Oh, it is everything. I watched it, and I loved it, and so I rented it a second time and made Mr. Temper watch it with me. And there's a huge twist at the ending. It's like very suspenseful in his hands. Like his palms got real sweaty at one point because it was like, oh, my God. And it's everything. You should watch it. That's my movie oh. recommendation of the week. Well, folks, I am excited to chat with all of you guys. I'm happy to have you here. I just got back from a road trip and I got to go to the beach and relax and melt into the ocean and by the ocean. I got to find live sand dollars. I've never found a live sand dollar before. Mm. That was like Ooh, the only well ski life there. And it was crazy and amazing. And then after that, I went to Savannah, Georgia and did a bunch of tours. And But what's going on with you guys? It's summer. Hopefully you're relaxing. Count. What is going on with you? Let me tell you that I road tripped as well, and it was great. We went through six or seven states, saw some family, um, had a really good time. But 
today, as of recording, I am back at school. So it is no longer summer and I have never felt like I recorded myself like getting out of my car, walking up to the building and I just kind of made a live video for like a minute and I just held back tears. I have never gone back to school. It is not even the end of July. Technically, the middle of a month is what, the 11th to the 20th? It is still the middle of July. And my chocolate ass was back on campus today, and I was not happy about it. But summer was good to me, (laughs) and I'm glad I have a job. Uh And I'm going to tear some shit up this year, but damn, I don't want to be back on campus yet. Oh, man. (laughs) I feel that in my bones. I feel that deeply. They haven't started putting this stuff out yet in any of the major stores, but that's when it, it starts to hurt me. I'm like, no. It is not time to have the school bus yellow back to school display. I know it's any minute now. It's usually like the last week of July you'll start seeing it. And oh, it's I'm coming. Ready. No, that shit's coming. Stuff's already out at Target. Yeah. Oh, damn it, Target. Oh, damn you, Target. No, I, I screamed a little bit. And this whiskey is just letting me know that I'm back to school. <laughs> oh. Like I had, I'm still not putting on real clothes. Like, let's just put that out there. Like, there's still shorts, tennis shoes, and there was like a – dry fit polo shirt that made it through the door <laughs> then after that it was like a tank top in my office and i'm sure people walk by like you're all right today and i'm like i'm here aren't i you see me working don't you like don't worry about what i'm wearing like i'll be decent <laughs> when kids come mm-hmm. but like today was the day that like your auto summer away message goes away or your you know your oh. voicemail changes back there was like 17 phone calls. I'm like, what are you parents doing? Like, you should be on vacation with your kids. That's lame. Oh, it's complete I'm BS, but. So, Shirley, what's going on with you? So, I went home. I went to the city that I graduated high school from, and we had a 20 year drill team with reunion. And so there was about 10 of us. And I have a lot of anxiety about these things. My experience in high school was I was not popular. I was very much an outsider. I loved dance and performing, and that's why I did drill team. But I was very aware of the fact that I had like two friends. And I also did other things. And so I was a little like, oh, God, do I want to do this? But my drill teacher came and I have not seen her since I graduated high school and um, seeing her and hugging her neck and she made me cry. It was just so amazing. And it's just a reminder that, you know, as teachers, we have an impact on people's lives. You know, I found myself craving her approval of the choices that I've made. And she was so wonderful. And she hugged me and just made me cry with her wonderful words. And honestly, everybody who was there, it was so genuinely wonderful to see everybody. And some of these women I wasn't even close with. We probably really didn't even like each other very much. And it's like none of it mattered. We were all just so happy to see each other and be there with each other. And so, you know, what a gift. It was a gift. That's That's awesome. I'm glad you got to have that experience. (laughs) What about you, Bunny? How is, how's the growing of the foo-foo? Uh, the growing of baby bunny foo-foo seems to still all be going right along on schedule. Had a shower for the little foo-foo this weekend (gasps) and it was very nice and lovely and, um, she felt very loved, and now there's a million and one onesies to wash. So, All right, my dudes. So I have this amazing message from the contact page from Matches Malone, and I am here for this. This is amazing. Okay, so this message says, hi from Sweden. Ooh, Woo! Just started- international! I know! Just started listening and love it so far. I am the only English teacher at our junior high, and all's been well except for what we're, what is waiting for me in August. We are a tiny school and fairly new, and we have had one office during these three years and had a great culture, being able to talk to every teacher about every student we have with ease. We got a new principal this spring, and it was decided to break up the one office to two separate ones. I get the point, 
blah, blah, blah. But the thing is, we're going to break up based on subjects. I really do not want to sit with teachers that teach a subject that I don't teach. I have bonded. I will voice bond with the practical ones. It's going to be really weird. And I feel awkward since I can't stand at least two of the other ones I'm going to share (laughs) the office with. And I feel I'm going to leave our room to go up one floor and hang with the other crew. (laughs) Anyone been in a similar situation? Tips and tricks to handle it, which doesn't count which doesn't amount to beers and scotch. (laughs) I've covered Mm -hmm. those. Sure, it's a workplace, and one shouldn't socialize too much with colleagues during the day, but it feels a bit sad to lose my friends to another room. I don't think there's any rules that she couldn't, you know, hang out and work from the other office. Like, just because you have stuff there doesn't mean you have to be there. Unless you have, like, weird student office hours or something you got to do. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Well, they're breaking them up by subject. And basically what Mattress is saying is that the subject that they teach, <laughs> they're friends with teachers from the other subjects. And so they're dividing the offices by subject. <laughs> and they're like, but my friends, my friends teach the other classes um i can speak from personal experience um the subject that i teach the professional group you know you know how they like group us into you know whatever subject you're teaching math science blue blah blue so my hallway um there are two people who i love and the rest can see me in hell can see me in hell yeah and i don't i don't i'm not a fake girl like i'm professional but they know how i feel they know how i feel and so don't do what i did which is they know how i feel just (laughs) you know smile nod go hang out with your friends and don't i would not say anything to your principal though don't make it a thing you're not going to win that battle. It's going to make you look petty. So don't do that. Yeah. I would make friends with people in the other subjects. And I know sometimes they suck because I know there are people on other teams and you just don't have to deal with them. But I often found myself hanging out in the office of my friends and I'd go sit with them and I'd work in there and like, I'd be in my room when I needed there or be at the office, but I, I'd go eat lunch with who I wanted or I'd go in my room. I would you don't have to play by those rules, but I agree with Shirley. I don't think you need to bring admin into it. I think you just need to do your own thing. Bunny, what do you think? Yeah, I've been in kind of a such similar situation before where uh, the people that I was assigned to kind of group with were not people that I really wanted to be associated with. Um, so yeah, kind of what Shirley was saying, don't necessarily bring admin into it because then that's you run the risk of you looking like the one who's not the team player. Unless there's times that you have to be assigned or like you have to be with that group for some reason, just just don't mention it and just go upstairs and chill with your other folks. Mm-hmm. Count Chocolate, how do you feel about this? I think I, I understand the feeling of how she feels. Um, but at the same time, it it she's right. It sucks losing your people to another group or another crew. But at the same time, you get to formulate some new relationships and some new friendships. Simply because I'm always afraid of Shirley, I'll agree and say don't bring admin into it. (laughs) But at the same time, I don't think there's a need for it. But uh, I think this could still be a situation where things blossom and it turns out for the good. It could be pretty positive. So I think the attitude that you got to kind of embrace going into it is like we're going to make the best out of the situation. And it doesn't mean you're losing your people, um, but you will lose some time with them. But you can be intentional about fostering those relationships, so they they'll they'll still be okay. It just sucks. It's a bummer, and that's the end of it. But like, you're good. It's no a job, admin yeah. Like you'll make yep. it work. Yep, it's, it's a, a job, job, man. Like have your outside of work friends, and don't stress about it. From the teacher needs a drink contact page, busy band nerd says. Can we please talk about these new intersessional calendars? I'm a band director in Texas, and my district is starting school on August 2nd, and I'm just so annoyed about it. This means we band directors start summer band tomorrow, and I'm just ugh. We will have a week off in October, conveniently the week of UIL marching contest, plus a football game, so I'll be working all week, and another random week off in February. 
Still no word how compensation will work for those non-contract days for secondary for those of us who still have to work. I just feel like attendance is going to be a nightmare in August. The transitions before and after these weeks off will be chaotic. I'm just feeling a bit negative about the calendar and would love to hear your thoughts about these calendars. I love the podcast and hope you guys are having a great summer. Congratulations, Mrs. Sparkles. Aww. That's Aww. awesome. What That's a cute. shout out, Mrs. Sparkles. Honey, there's nothing you can do. It is a district calendar, and you are just putting a target on your back if you throw a fit. My advice is wait until February and see if there is a calendar committee or if there is a way that you could say, hey, just something to think about, you know, is there anything that I can do or, you know, can, maybe can some of the band parents be surveyed, something like that. Otherwise, again, you're just going to put a target on your back. You're going to be cranky, disagreeable. Don't do that. There's nothing you can do about it right now. You just have to ride the year out. February, though, is when you need to start politely inquiring if there is, you know, maybe a calendar survey that can be emailed to the faculty and staff where everybody can vote and there's like two options or something. That's my advice. And as for compensation, I would ask directly, are we getting compensated for these days? And if you're worried you'll be a pill about that, talk to your teacher organization. This is one of those things where yep. they have no problem anonymously anonymous anonymous. They have no problem anonymous. I can't do it. They have no problem going in for you and like keeping your identity silent and like just taking eat and saying, Hey, you have these teachers working these days, so you're paying them, right? And if not, why? And that's exactly. one of the perfect things, especially in Texas where we're not allowed to have unions, where your teacher organization can really help you out. Uh, Bunny, Count? While they try to get a pretty diverse group that, you know, kind of covers all areas, there's always something that gets overlooked. And sadly, as busy as like band instructors are, band instructors are and marching band when you get to that season, if they're not represented, they, they literally just work days that they don't get compensated for, which isn't right. So yeah, there's always someone you should be able to talk to about that. And like we said, there's no rep in, uh, there's no union. So there's no union rep in the state of Texas. There's still someone else who's out there because the fact that you're working these days, you should be compensated for it Mm -hmm. because it's not like, it's not a day off. And, and, you know, UIL competition season, um, the amount of work that, directors put in to prepare students and arrange all that has to be done is it's yeah it's countless the hours are countless yeah i don't have too much more to add other than what shirley and the count have already said um it's probably too late to do anything about it this year but definitely um talk to your teacher organization about it because that sucks that you're being expected to just work these days that everybody else gets off and not get paid for it. So yeah, definitely. And, you know, benefit of the doubt, I don't know. It's a possibility that it just kind of slipped past someone's view and they didn't realize you weren't being compensated or so. I don't know. So, um, <laughs> we didn't realize bring you, it up to me. you mean you don't do this just because you love it. Hey guys, guess what? What's up? Mm-hmm. Ooh, tell me something good. We have a podcast. Oh, well, wait, no, we have a podcast. Oh, that's we good. Have and it's not a podcast. Yes, thank oh, you. We do. Thank you. <laughs> this episode of Teacher that's Needs great. a Drink is brought to you by Chocolate Whiskey and yes. Podcast <laughs> Delays. Yes. Chocolate Whiskey. I support all things chocolate. <laughs> I support Cat in his support of Chocolate Whiskey. So, hey, guys, guess what? We have a Patreon. We do? Yeah. Yeah, I love right. that we have a Patreon. That sounds amazing. It's, it's Sexy. the best. For as little as 5 to $10 a month, you get access to all kinds of extra content, interviews with the host, lost episodes. You get to join our events, and you get to join our exclusive Facebook group, Facebook group where you can talk with other you know, like-minded, liberal you know, teachers. Us, the cool ones. So you should do it, Woo-hoo. and do it now. Woohoo! Would you rather watch TV that's commercial free but doesn't have a remote or have a remote but you have to watch all the commercials? 
I remember life before Ooh. remote and there are times where I would watch whole shows cause I did not want to get up to change the TV cause the remote was too far away. So I, I kind of want a remote. I like remote. Okay. Repeat the question again. Would you rather watch TV that's yeah, commercial free, but doesn't have a remote or have a remote, but you have to watch all the commercials. You just have to get up to change the channel. You have to get up. And I like, don't have ka-chunk, a remote. Ka-chunk, ka-chunk. Like turn the little knob. Oh gosh. Okay, that's that's third grade all over again. <laughs> that is a tactile memory. Is turning that TV knob the ka chunk ka chunk ka chunk. <laughs> like I can feel how that feels in my hand from when I was little. That one. That one's deep. That's in. There. Yeah. I got. <laughs> oh gosh, my, man. It's crazy because I was just at home and I was. My parents have a hard time getting rid of things. They're not hoarders, <laughs> but like they just keep some things. Then I'm like, why is that there? Like, because we, we never wanted to carry it out the house. I'm like, yeah, I'll throw it away. And they have an old TV I used to play video games on. And so, like, Channel 3 was NBC, 5 was ABC, mm-hmm. 8 was CBS. All right. But like, if you really wanted like some other channels, you had to turn one dial to Channel 43. <laughs> and I just remember like having to do the full turn and the half turn. Like for all those channels just to get to channel 43. And I thought it was like a big game, but like not having a remote it, would be it's real. Oh gosh. Like you'd have to get up. Like, and I'm not even that lazy. Gosh, it makes me sound like a lazy sack of shit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> never mind. So, so, someone else answer. I'm so sorry. I need a remote. I'm a simple woman. Yeah, I, I'm with you. I need the remote. It has to happen. But and Bunny, what about you? I'll take the remote and then just mute the commercials. Boom. There you go. Problem solved. If it's a TiVo remote, you could skip forward, but I guess that means you still have commercials. So I guess maybe that's not. probably against the rules. Yeah, that's cheating. But I was just thinking about something. I know it's probably because I'm fucked up, but you know that <laughs> old TV, like the ka chunk, ka chunk, ka chunk, like numbers, that really mm-hmm. made like school lockers feel like such a letdown. Because when I was getting to middle school, I was so excited about getting a locker with like a combination lock. And when you get it, there's no like ka chunk, ka chunk from numbers. It's like this really weak, le- like weak ass little sh- as you like turned it and you got to kind of feel the bump. And <laughs> those oh lockers God. were such a letdown. I think it's because I was used to the really satisfied, like, ka chunk, ka chunk, ka chunk, like NBC, Fox, CBS. Wow, I feel old now. <laughs> Tell oh me, my, my goodness, grandpa. This is hilarious. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, thanks for joining us for another episode of Teacher Needs a Drink podcast. I hope you guys are enjoying your summer. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank you for being here. Uh, Mr. Count Chocolate, it was wonderful talking with you. You know what? It was great being here, and I'm so excited that I got a chocolate martini with my name written all over it right now. I might not make it work on day two. (laughs) And Ms. Bunny O'Hare, I'm glad I got to chocolate with you, too. Well, thank you for having me back. It was a pleasure as always. And uh, last but not least, thank you, Miss Shirley Temper. You keep saying that. You're not as rare as you think. You know how I know? Because every week I go to a club, and every week I act like I'm too drunk to stand, and every fucking week a nice guy like you comes over to see if I'm okay. Yikes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm telling you, you need to watch it. It's fire. All right. Well, friends, <laughs> take care of yourselves. Join our Patreon. Best you thing should. Ever. You got to check it out. Okay, my friends, make sure you're taking care of yourselves. Deep breaths, deep drinks. Cheers. Woo! 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 Cheers. Oh, Spectre heard the woos and he was like, the fuck? All right, my friends, thanks for joining us for another episode of Teacher Needs a Drink Podcast. Teacher Needs a Drink Podcast comes out every Wednesday. And if you, yes, you have something you'd like to share with us here at Teacher Needs a Drink Podcast, just go to the contact page of our website, which is teacherneedsadrinkpodcast.com, and tell us what's going on, and we'll do our best to respond if we can. Also, you can hit us up through the Patreon. For as little as $5, 10 a month, you get to access to us. You get a Facebook group, which we're usually on. There's usually weekly content that's put out through there sometimes. 
sometimes it's little, sometimes it's big, you never know. In fact, we're actually going to a bar tonight. Well, I guess it'll be yesterday night by the time this comes out. So we'll be going to a bar a few hours before it gets released just to record us talking shit and responding to some people who ask questions. And that's going to be on the Patreon this week. So my friends, I love you. Take care of yourselves. A big thank you to Miss Shirley Temper, Miss Bunny O'Hare, Mr. Count Chocolate for being there. I love you guys. And I'm so glad everyone's doing well. Mm, Kisses. Take care, friends. I'm like, oh, I can't. It's not time. I'm just waiting for a teacher to do. That was so funny. I'm so sorry. It's it's the the chocolate whiskey. It's so. It was good. It was a darn good laugh.